Adam deal with his honey. And as you know, honey was early mentioned in the Holy Quran. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Al-Ayat 16, Surah Al-Nahl. يخرج من بطونها شراب مختلف الألوان فيه شفاء للناس صلى الله عليه وسلم. دكتور رشا الحاج من the Imperial College London will give us her findings about the value of honey in cancer. Thank you very much. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm honored to speak to you about my project, which is about substances in Sudanese honey that inhibit breast cancer cells. Word cancer most probably is the terrifying things to hear nowadays. In 2012, according to the International Agency for Research on Cancer, stated that more than 14 million cases was diagnosed and uh, during the same year, the number of people who die of cancer is 8.2 million deaths. Breast cancer is the most common cancer among women. It's estimated that 1.7 million new cases was diagnosed in 2012. Study done by uh, Oxford University has found that in UK, 1.5 billion pounds was spent on health care of breast cancer every year. The problem that we face that there is no real effective way to prevent or inhibit the development of the breast cancer and the current treatments such as chemotherapy or radiotherapy are associated with the side effects and they are not affordable in developing countries. Therefore, there is a great need for continued research into exploring new affordable alternative treatment which has a side, fewer or mild side effects. Honey has a long medical history as it contains large spectrum of useful properties such as antibacterial, antifungal, anti-inflammatory and anti-tumor. The aim of my uh, project to study the effect of honey on three on two breast cancer cell lines, MCF7, which is estrogen receptor positive, and MDA MB231, which is estrogen receptor negative. In my study, I used three, time, three types of Sudanese honey collected from three different regions of Sudan, from east, south, and west of Sudan. For my research, I seeded the tissue, the culture in tissue culture flask for two days. After two days, I remove the media and chain replace it with the new medium which contain honey. Final dilution 20 times. After two days of honey treatment, the remain of the cell were counted in the culture counter. Uh, this is the result in both cell lines, MCF7 and MDA, MB231. Sorry, I have to stand up. For the Western Sudanese honey, as you can see, that inhibit the cell growth in both cell lines. So in MCF7, it's give me up to 75% inhibition within two days treat, treated with the honey. And in MDA, MB231, give me up to 60% inhibition. For the Western Sudanese honey, almost gave me the same percentage of inhibition in both cell lines. Honey from south of Sudan in MCF7 gave me up to 50% inhibition and only 40% in MDA MB231. These two images of MCF7. So here before treated with the honey and here after treated with the honey. And you can see that a lot of cells, they just die. This is the second type of breast cancer cell line, which is estrogen receptor negative. Here before treated with the honey, and here after treated with the honey, and the apoptosis is very clear. Since the Western honey gave me the highest percentage of inhibition, therefore I decided to take it further investigated. So 
I used the charcoal to remove all the small substances and steroid in the honey. This is in one experiment. In the second experiment, I heat the honey at 65 degrees Celsius for one hour <coughs> to test the stability of heat of the honey. What I found that the stripped and the heated, same inhibition with the untreated honey. So in MCF7, almost 75%, and in MDA, MB231, almost like 55% of inhibition. Reverse growth, my favorite experiment. And uh, I just ask you to be patient with me to explain it to you. So in both cell lines, MCF7 and MDA, there are two experiments. The first experiment, I treated the honey for 48 hours, and then I removed the medium, which contained the honey, replaced it with the fresh medium without any honey for 72 hours. This is the first experiment. Second experiment, I treated the cells with the honey for 72 hours, and then after 72 hours, I removed the media, replaced it with the medium without honey for another 72 hours. So what I found that in MCF7, the first experiment, I've got 75% of inhibition after two days, followed by 90% irreversible inhibition. And for the second experiment, I've got 90% inhib inhibition followed by 96 irreversible inhibition. In MDA, the first experiment, I've got 50% inhibition followed by 90% irreversible inhibition. And for the second one, I've got uh, 86 inhibition followed by 89 irreversible inhibition. The beauty about this experiment that, as you know, the estrogen receptor negative, usually aggressive, I don't respond to the treatment. But with the honey, and it, thank God, it responds to the honey, but it will take more or longer time. Here, I try to use six different concentrations. Eight, 12, 20, 40, 80, 200. With the MCF7, I've got the six concentration, all of them, they inhibit the cell growth. And there is a correlation between the percentage of the inhibition and the concentration of the honey. In MDA, which is estrogen receptor negative, the first four concentration give me inhibition. The fifth one, no effect, but the last one, which is 200 times dilution, start to stimulate the cancer again. And alhamdulillah, in 2011, my uh, patent application approved by the UK, UK Patenting Authority. And alhamdulillah, I've got the UK patent in 2011. <laughs> so my next step, AML Initiative. AML, as you know, is uh, popular female name, means hope. Unfortunately, one of my friend, my best friend, she died last year because of the breast cancer. I lost Amel, my friend, but I hope, inshallah, with the support and guidance from Allah, to help me to save other breast cancer patients, inshallah. <laughs> I started with my limited resources and I applied honey you know, among my friends, my family, when they asked me, can we start to use honey? I said, yes. So they start to start, they start to use honey with the treatment. Alhamdulillah, there is a good response. Some of them, even the stage start to reduce. But we, I cannot call it like a scientific study because I need to run like a clinical trials. Therefore, inshallah, in my need, uh, ne nearest future, I'm going to do a fundraising so I will be able to do a clinical trial in Sudan, inshallah. The conclusion, a large molecular weight soluble component of honey 
was found to have significant inhibitory growth effects on both MCF7 and MDA MBQ31. Honey may play a significant role in the treatment of breast cancer with affordable or cost effectively. Thank you.